Would you eat cake without icing? Fried chicken without breading? Or a chili dog without a bun? No. So why would you make a winter themed visual novel without falling snow? By use Snowfall tool lets you add snow particles to any scene in your game. Download it from the itch.io page and you know, maybe pay some money for it. Take the file snowblossom.rpy into your game. This RPY file has a custom definition that lets you add this snow directly into your game and screens. Just by adding the line add snow and then in parentheses and quotes the image you want to use for the particle effect. So in this case, it's using two types of images to add up to that one snow particle effect, the snowflakes and then the little like round bits. Simple, right? I never like it simple. We can set an image definition to fix snow blossom. We can define the image we're using for the particle, followed by a number that represents the maximum number of particles produced on screen. Then we can define the speed. If we want, we can split this value into x speed and y speed. That'll be important later. And then define a speed range in parentheses separated by a comma. Then we set the number of particles that will start dropping on the screen. But let's say you're not making snow, you're making rain. For rain, we'll replace this image with a raindrop. Set x speed so it moves faster in the direction it's falling, in this case a negative number. Then change the y speed so it falls down a lot faster and just bump up the number of particles by a lot. There we go, now we got rain. But to give it a little bit more dimensionality, I'm going to define a new image rain back, which is just two full screen images of rain falling down. And we'll just flip between the two of them and place it behind the character Eileen. There, now that has a little bit more dimensionality to it. Or let's say we wanted embers from a fire. The game Kohana uses this tool too. They made these embers rise from the bottom of the screen to the top just by setting the Y speed to a negative number and replacing the image with some embers. Links in the description if you want to try out this game too. This is a really robust particle system, so if you have any ideas for how you could use it, be sure to leave it in the comments below. If you want to give more dimensionality to the particles like I did with the rain, you're going to want to learn how to use image definitions and transforms in this video right up here. And if you want more RenPy tips and tricks, check out more of the RenPy cookbook right over here. And thanks for cooking.